Hi there, it's Julia from Dead Square Crafts. I'm back on the Alleyway Stamps YouTube channel today sharing a card that I created using two of their mini stamp sets. So I'm using the Moosey Mew set for the owl and then the Wreathed in Love set for the wreath. I also use a um, well, in this case, I used it for confetti, but I'm pretty sure it's actually like a falling snow stamp that comes in the Moosey Mew set as well. And you can see I'm starting here by laying out all of my stamps. I cut my front panel on my silhouette portrait machine because I wanted to create a fun little shaker card. So before I um, cut the... Uh, front panel. I measured the wreath to make sure that it would be able to fit around and then I designed the front panel accordingly. I stamped my little owls using Memento Tuxedo Black ink because I'm coloring them in using my Spectrum Noir alcohol markers. Originally I planned on only using two colors to color in the owl because he's quite small but I couldn't get the blend that I wanted so I do bring in another color afterwards. So to begin I was using BT1 and BT4. As you can see I'm trying to blend out those colors and then I felt like my paper was just getting a little bit too saturated and I wanted to leave the colors a chance to blend. So I move on to color in the beak and for the beak I also use two colors OR1 and CT2. You probably don't need to use two shades for this tiny little beak but I always like to if I can just to add a tiny touch of dimension. So now I realize that I really need to go in with a um, mid-tone for my owl, so I pull a BT2 marker and then I blend it all out um, again using my BT1 marker. Now I'm going to use that little confetti or snow um, stamp from the Moosey New set. I'm using two shades of ink to create a kind of fun confetti look on the front of this card. In the end, this card is going to be a fun birthday shaker card, so I wanted to make sure to keep the colors bright and cheerful, and in the end I think that the card um, is really happy and it's perfect for a nice birthday card. So I'm just using a turquoise as well as a pink ink and I'm just stamping that confetti stamp all over the front of the card. There is a stitched border that I added again um, when I cut the panel on my silhouette portrait machine so I'm just masking that off with a piece of post-it tape so that I can keep that space clean. I even do the same when I get close to the center there. There is a stitch detail around that um, center hole so I um, use my masking tape to just kind of mask off the area as I stamp it. Now that my front panel has had a chance to dry, I go ahead and stamp the wreath using Versamark ink. If I were going to do this card again, I definitely would have tried to remember to use my anti-static bag because there was a little bit of um, stray embossing powder when the card was complete, but I think that it's not that noticeable so it wasn't worth restarting. I'm sprinkling that um, wreath using some Ranger Superfine Gold embossing powder and then I will zap that with my heat gun. Next I'm going to create a little pouch for my shaker material. I don't always do this but sometimes I like a flatter um, shaker so what I do is I just adhere together two pieces of vellum or acetate and I create a little pocket. I know it's really popular these days to use the fuse tool but um, I've never had any trouble just using my regular tape adhesive creating a little pouch and then adhering it to the back of my panel. I'm just filling in some sequins. These are just some random sequins from my stash. I'm pretty sure I actually got most of these at the dollar store. Um, I try to keep them separated by color so that it's easy to pull them in and I tried to use some sequins that were pink as well as the um, turquoise are closest to what I had in my stash. I didn't overfill this pouch because the shaker window itself is really tiny so that it kind of keeps with the scale and so that that wreath would fit around it so I didn't go totally crazy with the sequins. You may be able to hear a little scratching in the background. My dog Ziff is here with me as I record this voiceover so if you can hear that in the background it's just my dog. I'm going ahead and adhering down my little owl. I fussy cut out that owl and I use clear foam squares to adhere that onto my front panel. 
As you see there, I have my shaker pocket all assembled and adhered to the back of the card. I then add some regular 3M foam tape to pop that up onto the front part of my card. And then to complete the um, happy birthday, I use my manual um, sorry, my manual label label maker to um, create a little gold tag that says happy birthday. This label maker is something that I've had in my stash since I was a kid. My parents um, about two years ago gave me a huge box of craft supplies that I'd had as a child and this label maker was in there. So I just um, refill the tape, in this case I am using gold to match the rest of the card and it still works just like the day I got it. So I'm, I remove the backing of that um, label before I cut out the little fishtail banner because when you cut it out of the machine you get a little, um, it sort of makes a score line so it's easy to remove the backing. If you don't take the backing off from that score line it becomes really hard. So I took the backing off and then I cut my fishtail and then I adhered that directly down onto the front part of my card. To add just a little bit more detail, I did go over that owl with my clear wink of Stella, and then my card is complete. Thanks so much for tuning in to this YouTube video. I hope to see you back here again soon, and thank you so much for watching. Bye!